In this video, I'm going to talk about understanding human error. Basically, there are two ways of looking at human error. In the research, as well as practice, these are now known as the old view or old look at human error and the new view or new look. So let's look at those two. In the old view, human error is seen as the major cause of all of your troubles. Human error is responsible for 70, 80, 90 percent of everything that goes wrong in your facility. And so the way to deal with that is to get rid of the human. If they, if they really make egregious errors, you just culture them, you get rid of them. Or you bring in more automation, or you have more surveillance, more procedures, more rules. So these are all ways to control the human in order to stamp out and get rid of that potential for human error, to get rid of the unreliability of human performance. It is all focused on changing the contribution that people make or can make or are allowed to make. In the old view, you see human error, as I said, as the cause of your troubles. The new view says, hang on, it isn't as if error just appears out of the blue and people show up to work to make errors. No, they come from somewhere. Human errors are the consequence, not the cause, they're the consequence of trouble deeper inside your organization. If human error is a consequence rather than a cause, you should start asking different questions. Instead of asking, who did this? Who is responsible? You should probably ask, particularly as a leader, what is responsible? What did this? It isn't as if people make poor choices when they work for you. It is that they have poor choices when they work for you because they work under conditions of goal conflicts, they need to do it faster, but also safer, but also according to the protocol, but without the extra nurse that might not be there because of the night shift or whatever it may be. They work under goal conflicts and limited resources and still get stuff done for you. And so the question, what is responsible, gets you as a leader to engage with human error as a consequence of these conditions that all of you help create. Human error as a consequence means that there's different things for you to consider. Because human error, itself almost a useless label then, but human error is systematically connected to the features of tools and the tasks and the operating conditions that you help set up for people. If you want to understand and do something about your human error problem, you have to do something about the conditions that produce those errors, not the people who end up making them. If you do that, it's like swatting mosquitoes. What you really want to be doing is draining the swamp. Human error is a consequence. That's the new view. That's the way to think about it nowadays.